the rain has subsided and I am in the cattle panel under the shade cloth because I think it's like 80 degrees out here. The sun has just come out. It's been overcast all day. I sound like the weather person. I am not. Just giving you guys a play by play. Um, I came outside. I really am in no mood to be outside. I'm tired. It's hot. <sighs> but I got I to gotta do what I got to do. And many of my peppers have not come back um, from last year. Many of them have. I had two over winter. One of them came out too soon from the greenhouse, did not fare well. So I literally have one out of all the peppers that I, I tried to save last year that actually survived. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. That one is actually flowering. I have no idea what it is. It's a mystery to me. Uh, the label says mystery pepper. So I don't know. But today, um, even though it's late, I should have had peppers already started but i have a long growing season i'm not going to worry about the calendar if i have to shove all these peppers in the greenhouse and just figure it out uh, from what i didn't do last year because what i was trying to do was move them in and out of the greenhouse and i think all that moving in and out hold on y'all i see a roly-poly in the pot hold that thought Apologies. I just so happened to look over into my pepper pot that I'm going to be planting up and I saw a roly-poly. It had to be dealt with. But what I did last year was I was moving my pots in and out of the greenhouse and I got tired. Like many people, um, if you have a large garden, all the moving, the physical moving of things can cause you to, to get exhausted. And unfortunately, that's what happened? I was exhausted of moving pots in and out, in and out, in and out. And so what the plan is for this growing season is I'm going to, I'm reinforcing the cattle panel. I have more rhubarb, rhubarb, rebar. I have more rebar or T posts that I'm going to be putting in to um, make it hopefully a little more sturdier than it, what it was. I thought it was sturdy, but it, it was not. The wind is so strong here that it just it just tears up everything you all have seen it if you haven't seen those videos please go back and watch my my garden videos uh especially when i talk about the storm and the rain and things of that nature the damage that it does and so i'll be reinforcing those i've already started with the one in the back that took the most damage last year i think instead of putting the greenhouse plastic on the outside and trying to cinch it in i think what i might do is try to figure out how to attach it to the inside of the cattle panel. Lots of ideas, but I'm trying to think about how I can get my garden to work for the plants, not necessarily for me, but for the plants uh, in the fall. But for right now, I am sowing pepper seeds. That was a very long-winded way of getting to that. I'm sowing pepper seeds, so I'm going to take you guys along with me. You've seen me sow pepper seeds before, but I want to show you what's currently in the garden. I do have a few plants. Um, some that have come back from me actually taking the pepper and sprinkling the seeds inside the pot when they would fall, um, whenever they would rot off or fall. I, I did that to several of pot, several of my pots and I've got some baby peppers pot, uh, popping up. I have some peppers that have just come up on their own. Um, no, I think I did it to all the pots. So a couple of them, I want to say I'm looking and I see two of them right now that have peppers that are coming up and I'm excited about that. One of them is my fish pepper and one of them is the mystery pepper. Don't know what that is. So yeah, so actually I have two mystery peppers. This literally says mystery pepper on here. So I don't know what it is. So we'll see. So let me show you what that is before I start getting back to sowing seeds. So let's get at it. This is the fish pepper pot, and as you can see, I have several fish peppers that have come back from me just throwing the peppers in the pot. That's what I do when a pepper has gone bad for some reason, if something took a bite out of it, or if it's rotted, or whatever. I throw it in the pot, and those peppers have come back from me doing what that. Pepper this is it, it could be a store bought pepper that was 
hot. I don't know. I don't buy hot peppers other than jalapenos, and this definitely wasn't a jalapeno, so I don't know what, sorry, y'all can't even see. I don't know what that pepper is, but all of that right there are seeds that grew from a pepper that I just cracked it open and just dumped the seeds in the pot. So that's two pots in the cattle panel that uh, peppers have just come up on their own. I just sowed in this pot a, what did I put in here? Oh, paprika. I put a paprika seeds in this pot and oh wait let me turn around there's one more over here hold on y'all stop at that this pot right here i believe this is a yep this is a serrano this is a serrano pepper that has come up um looks like that one is leaning there we go get up there baby survive you want to survive come on so the serrano peppers i took them and did the same thing put them in the pot let them rot down if they did not rot down and they were dry I just crushed them inside of the pot and sprinkled the seeds. So I have, looks like three pots where peppers have come back, but I have several more that I need to sow. I'm sorry, y'all. I cannot hold my camera and look around at the same time. I'm just having so many problems today, but that's what's going on today. I'm sowing pepper. So let me get out. I hope you all can see what I'm doing. All I did was place my little container. I soaked my seeds last night to try to plump them up. Hopefully that will cause them to want to germinate even faster. I tried to do the method that uh, I saw on Growing Out of the Boxes channel. He soaked his in water and then in chamomile. My chamomile was growing and I only had a small amount of flowers. So I soaked them in the chamomile flower um, concoction. So I don't know whether or not they're going to germinate. I believe they will. Let me put these out of the way. I don't want them to spill while I'm trying to fertilize this pot. I have fertilized already, but I am going to just move. And it rained, it really came down this morning for a number of, um, I don't know, maybe a couple of hours, number of hours this morning. And so everything is nice and moist, you can see. I have worms everywhere in all of my containers. This one is no different. Let me see, yep, this came out. This was the pepper from last year, and this is the banana pepper. So I'm just going to take the old stem out and I'm just going to toss it on the ground for right now. If it comes out easily, I pull it out. This one, it doesn't want to come out easily. So there's a, there's a possibility. I don't know how much of a possibility, but it's a possibility that this one is not quite ready to go out because it's, it's very hard to come out of there this one was very easy normally when you can't pull them out easily they might still have some life in that root so i'm going to leave that one alone and these little ones over here i'm taking them out just like that take off all this dead off of this this onion this onion i want to say i sold this onion in the fall it's going to come out here very soon as you can see how nice and thick the onion is i've been trying to take the soil from around the onion bulb so it can bulb out but uh it's a double it's really strange so i have some put my knife over there i have some fertilizer in this pot this little container some azomite rock dust some chicken manure and some um azomite uh, what did i say osmocote i'm sorry osmocote i'm just going to put a sprinkle a little bit on the top just like that i've already fertilized all of my containers already this spring but as i am go ahead on and planting I'm just going to give it a little bit of oof while I'm planting these up or sowing these seeds. I'm just going to mush it around like that. And I'm going to put this in the center. Here are my seeds right here. Hope you guys can see. They're nice and plump. I'm just going to pour them out right there in the center. No rhyme, no reason. Because I'd rather for them to grow in the center. I had four. I'm just going to take some of this soil and push it over like that. Hmm, there's something, this looks like an onion. Hold on, y'all. This looks like, like an onion, baby. Can y'all see that? I'm going to put this baby right back in here, just like this. Let it do what it do. See if it'll grow. There we go. And I'm just going to take this and push it over the top. I'm going to take my little container, just press it down, just like that, so there's contact with the soil. And I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to water it in because there was a water that I poured on top of it. And this pot is already 
wet uh, because it did rain and I'm going to leave it alone for now. So let's see what else I have to plant because I have several I'm going to be potting up here today. So let me go get the next. In this container right here, I was pulling out the old pepper stems and I found these dried up peppers. Now I don't know what these are. They could be serrano. They do not appear to be uh, cayenne, they, but they could be cayenne. They could be fresno. I don't know which peppers these are. So the tag said yellow stuffing pepper. This is indeed not a yellow stuffing pepper. And there are a number of them in here. I'm finding many of them in here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move the debris, the wood chip and everything else. I'm still finding even more in here. I hope you all can see what I'm doing. I'm just moving them around. I can see there's a ton of little dried up peppers so there's always a possibility of one of these has broken open i mean there's even more in here just a, i think there might be one or two more so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these and i'm going to see if i can break them open they are not hard because they've been in this moist soil so I just want to show you guys how easy this is. It's, well, it's not easy because they're, they're not dry. Sorry about that, y'all. Something was I feel like it was crawling on my face. I had to wash, wipe my face off. Okay, these are not opening up as easily as I would have thought they would have, but that's okay. And I have gloves on. I don't like to mess with peppers with my bare hands, but I also don't like digging in the soil with my bare hands either. That's just me. That's my thing. Um, if you like digging in the soil with your bare hands, do what you do. Do what you do. So I'm just taking these seeds out of here. To me, they don't look viable, but just because they don't look viable to me doesn't mean that they aren't viable. So I'm just going to take these and open them up. I hope you guys can see. The camera is away from me, so I don't know what you all can see. I'm just taking these seeds and opening up. Open up the pod or the pepper and spreading them like that just like that now there's a likely possibility that none of these seeds will germinate because they don't look so great to me they're very dark in color but that could mean sorry about that y'all i feel like there's something touching my face Ugh, i cannot um that could mean that just because they've been sitting in the soil you know they've they've rotted or they've discolored in some way they're very discolored can you all see that can you see that? They're very discolored. So I don't think that these are going to be any good. I really don't. So I'm not going to keep doing that with all of them. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take my knife and I'm just going to just move them around in the soil. If they're good, they'll come up. If they're not good, they won't come up. Um, I believe in fertilizing the soil. So use that to fertilize. Now I'm going to take my fertilizer that I have off to the side and I'm going to just add some in here just like that because I want this pot to grow peppers. I need the peppers in my life. Okay, so I'm just, oh, I've got worms in here. I'm trying not to stab anything or kill any worms. I've got plenty of worms. There we go. I'm unearthing my worms. All right. And as I go along the side of my pot like this, I'm picking up even more of those peppers. I have no idea. That might be either Serrano, Fresno, or Cayenne. I do not know. So what I'm going to do is I do have some cayenne peppers to pepper seeds to sow. I'm gonna just get my cayenne pepper and put the cayenne pepper in here. I'm gonna take this, this out and find another pot to put this in. Um, that way I have cayenne pepper. So let me go get those seeds. Here is my deduction. I went to the pot next to it, right over there. And this pot says cayenne pepper long. 
So my thought is the cayenne peppers fell into this pot. So I may have more than one pot that has cayenne pepper and I'm okay with that. But what I'm going to do is because I don't have any cayenne pepper growing in the cayenne pepper pot, nothing has come back in that pot. I know I did drop some seeds in there and so far nothing has germinated. So what I think I might do is I'm looking in and you all cannot see it. So let me turn you guys around so that you can see what I'm doing. That way you're not looking at this pot that I'm about to This is the cayenne pepper pot. This is where the tag is that says cayenne. Nothing has come up in this pot that says cayenne. Got a roly poly. Sorry about that, y'all. If there are any squeamish people who don't like that kind of activity, I apologize. But I have to take care of my pots. Um, I do have worms in here. Now, what I have, what I have in here was supposed to be cayenne and nothing's come up. So my thought is, is that there will be no cayenne coming up in this pot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, since I dropped those old seeds in the container next to it, I'm going to switch the tags and I'm going to take the cayenne tag from out of this pot and put it in the other pot. And I am going to get, I thought I had a jalapeno tag around here somewhere, but I can't seem to find it. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to exchange it and I'm going to put jalapeno in here. I've got some seeds. I said jalapeno. So let me get some fertilizer. I do apologize, y'all. I keep seeing um, roly polies and I just, I don't want to deal with roly polies. So i got to take care of them when I see them. So I'm just going to mix up. The fertilizer in the soil like that not too much because i've already fertilized my pots already this year uh, for well for the spring i should say not for this year i will be doing more fertilizer as the season goes and so i am going to place in this container these jalapeno seeds and i hope that they grow i was unable to get jalapenos last year so i'm going to put them in there like that just like that and i'm going to cover it up with the soil and the mulch and then I will get my marker and I will mark on here jalapeno and take off that yellow because I'm not growing any yellow uh, stuffing peppers this year. So I'm just going to do that and I'm going to leave the jalapeno pot right there. That way I remember to change the label and make it jalapeno. So jalapeno is sewed. Let's turn you guys around and let's sow the cayenne. Since I opened up those cayenne peppers, which I do believe those are cayenne because this pot was sitting next to the cayenne pepper pot like I mentioned, I'm going to take these seeds and I'm just going to put them in here just like so. This pot was already fertilized. I've already switched the tags. So this one now says cayenne pepper. Just like so. I'm going to just... Pat that down, move the mulch over so that it stays moist where I put those seeds. I'm going to replace the irrigation tubing just like so. And that's it. Let's move on to some more pepper seeds because I have a few more that I need to sow, I think. This is the pepper that I was telling you all about that overwintered. I don't know if you all can see. Let me bring you down just a little bit. Let's see. Sorry about the camera movement. But if you can see, if I move my, my beans out of the way, all of this death right in here, that was the pepper from last year. And all of this grew out of there somewhere. Let's see. <laughs> There's spider webs everywhere, y'all. Sorry. I'm not having the best of days today. Something is always trying to get at me when I come outside. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys can see. I'm trying to turn it around as I'm fighting what's trying to land on my face. Okay, so as I turn it around, you all can see this was the one of the original peppers. But this right here is the original stalk. I hope you guys can see that. That right there. Is an original stalk it has uh it's beginning to turn woody so this is a pepper that overwintered from last year i'm going to turn it back around 
and from the looks of it this looks like a fresno can you all see that little pepper that's either a fresno or a serrano pepper how exciting so i can actually take the tag from back here and label it properly i'm going to pull out this little piece of pepper dead pepper right there but yeah this pepper came back from, from last year and i'm so excited to see it so i will have either a fresno or a serrano pepper i have to double check i want to say that looks like a serrano but i'm not certain I'll, I'll double check it right here this is the pepper hope you all can see that that is the pepper right there so it's no longer a mystery to me i'll be able to label it here in a little bit but let me get this this is a pole bean this pole bean is trying to grow into it and i don't want the pole bean to grab a hold of it and try to grow into it because the, the pole bean will ruin it so what i will do is i will move this pepper uh somewhere else because it's, it's sandwiched in between the beans i'm gonna leave it here for right now be only because it is shielded by the pepper i'm gonna move this little baby pepper stem inside of the tomato cage and if you wonder why i use a tomato cage on my peppers it's to keep them uh standing up up straight sometimes they as you can see this one is leaning out uh they will lean and i don't want them to do that so i want to keep them standing up but it looks like it might be a little bit too tall to push in without hurting it and I don't want to bend it, so I guess I'm going to have to leave it alone. But I really don't want it. I may have to pull the... Hang on, y'all. I'm, I'm doing a lot over here. I don't want it hanging out. Because once it gets full of fruit, they get heavy. And once they get heavy, they just lean out everywhere. And could easily break. And I don't want that. So I'm just lifting up the tomato cage and trying to shove it in. There we go. And then I will move the tomato cage back down. Trying to hold it in. There we go. There we go. And there are a few that are like this one is already grown. I would literally have to take the tomato cage all the way off to reposition it and put everything back inside. And I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to move it back the way it was with the pepper. There we go. With the pepper more towards the back being shielded by the beans the beans are shielding it keeping it i guess cool so i'm just going to leave it alone but i'm excited about that y'all this is a pepper that came back i was able to overwinter one pepper how exciting all right now that i've talked y'all to death about this poor little pepper let's go and sow my last two little pepper seeds pepperoni pepper and my shishito peppers did not overwinter well i've already pulled out the pepper stems I refertilize the pot and so now I'm just going to move the irrigation shift the soil back a bit and I'm right-handed so let me do it with my left and then pour the seeds right there in the center again it, it rained today so I don't really need to water it I'm going to press it down put the mulch back over top I also transplanted a little piece of chamomile in here yesterday so it's leaning over looking real sad not liking this life but i'm hoping it will bounce back put that back in there and that's that for that pepper. last but certainly not least today this is the shishito pepper that i tried to overwinter and you can see here i pulled out all of the the death and destruction from it not overwintering i'm just going to toss it onto the ground let it rot down i don't, I don't really mind about that i've already fertilized the pot I'm just going to do the same thing as the pepperoni pot, make a little well, put the seeds in there like that, cover them up, put the mulch on top. This actually is a leaf. I'm going to stick that down the side, let that rot down and be food. Press it in. And this is nothing more than just compost, stuff in the compost bin. So I'm going to move that to the side because I did put compost on all of my containers. And that's it, you guys. I have planted all but, I want to say, one of my pepper pots. I need to go and soak some seed. I have a pot that doesn't have anything in it, so I'm going to figure out what other pepper I want to sow. 
soak those seeds and get it inside the pot. So that's my shishito. That's two peppers I need to sow. I have a Fresno a pot that's empty, and I have that pot that had that yet that tag that said yellow stuffing. And those two pots need to have peppers in them too. So I need to find a different kind of pepper. I've got plenty. And uh, sow some seeds. So I've got two more seeds, different variety of peppers to sow. And uh, yeah, that's all I'm doing in my pepper row today. Oh, you guys, let me show y'all something. I got something. Sorry about that, y'all. It's hot. <laughs> and I, I feel like I've got like the flies are flying by me. So I feel like I've got something on this. I, I got to hurry up and get inside and get cleaned up. But I want to show y'all something before I end this video. Y'all see that? That is a sweet potato flower. And I still have sweet potatoes, slips anyway, in the greenhouse that I need to bring out and pot up. And I already have the sweet potatoes that overwintered and began to grow all on their own beginning to flower. So how exciting. I should have two different uh, harvests of sweet potatoes. Oh my goodness, y'all. Uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on. Let me show y'all something else that I'm I'm seeing from sitting all the way over here. Wow. It has just been a beautiful day today. I'm seeing so many beauties in my garden. Hold on, y'all. As I am sitting over in the cattle panel, I am looking towards the back fence. And y'all, look, my gladiolus are opening. Are those gladiolus? Yeah. <laughs> look at how beautiful. Look at that. Oh, they are so beautiful. Now, of course, it's storm today. And as you can see, I have a couple that have fallen. So I need to stake those up. And I'll do that before I go back in the house today. But you can see they're, they're falling forward. But look, all those blooms are going to be opening up soon. And that is the beautiful color that I put in the garden this year. Oh, my goodness. I am just elated. That is so beautiful. Oh, wow. I just, and it's not even fully opened. And look at it. It is beautiful. Oh my, 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 my. I cannot help myself. I'm, I'm in love with this color this year. Absolutely gorgeous. I hope that it comes back and blooms for me in this container every year. I don't plan on taking it out. It is covering up a peony. I don't know if you can see right there. That's a peony. It's falling over into it. So I'm going to have to stake these up. But look at that beauty. So I'm going to leave you guys right here today. Uh, I know I probably seem all over the place today. And that's because it's hot, I'm tired, and I need to get some rest. But I wanted to finish off a few things before I, I did that. So I want to say thank you all for joining me in my mishmash of a video today. I hope you all enjoyed me sowing a few pepper seeds and seeing what I have that has come back from per uh, the peppers that I crushed up and put the seeds I put in the garden in the fall, as well as what overwintered and came back. Not a lot, but you know, just enough. Oh my goodness, isn't she beautiful? Wow. Well, thank you again, everybody. Do me a favor, share this video, like this video, leave me a comment. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you either in my kitchen or my food forest real soon. Bye for now.